What's happening guys? Today I'm out here tip down fishing for largemouth bass. My buddy Matt, usually we're in the kayaks after bass. And uh, you see it's a little frozen. 45 degrees today, which makes a really nice day to ice fish. And here we got what we call a Sullivan tip down. Thanks to 330 Maniac turned me onto these. And basically just, you can use your fishing rod. And I'm actually gonna check my bait. I'll show you how these are set up. What I do when it's nice, see this this black portion of my line? That is where I set my depth to know how deep I'm going. So when I reel in a fish, I can go back to that. And what you do is, you set your drag so loose, is when they grab it, they can just take it and run. And then you'll have to, uh, obviously you'll see me pull out some slack when a fish is on, tighten the drag down, set the hook and go from there. See, it's so loose I can't even, I can't even, a, I think I actually had a fish. I just had a bite. If you're so loose, you really can't even reel in your line. Get back to this. And just balance it so when you get a bite, what it's going to do, it's going to pull down here and slide that forward. And you'll be, a, you'll, yeah, it'll drop that forward like that and just feed line to them. And we get a few bass to see actually how they work. We got uh, fat heads on, something a little bigger that panfish aren't gonna take. Our target is basically largemouth, maybe a crappie, but mainly while we're out here, we're trying to pick up a few largies on these minnows. And these rigs work awesome. I think Matt's actually got something over here. Oh yeah. Underwater camera set up. Wasn't that great a release? That's right. Matt Scott. Oh yeah, you got something. Might be a pike. Let's see if we can see him coming under the ice. Oh yeah, pike. It's a nice one. Oh, 
better. It's a good one, Matt. Oh, it's a bass. He's not huge, but he's nice. Now they're real yellow looking. All right, that's how I run my Sullivan tips down for largies. And I'll show you my actual setup rig. Yeah, they take that, they feed that, and then you go back there and you tighten up your drag, set the hook. Nice large mouth. I get some bigger ones. And all I'm running is some floor, or some eight pound mono. I got a little split shot and I'm running like a size 10 trouble hook. That just uh, tail hook my bat heads. There, that's basically it. Just one trouble kind of through the, let them swim around. Swim around down like that, wait for a bass. Just laying the bass on the tip down, so. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Yeah. I just pulled one out of the mouth, so I had a minnow up too. Slowly, oh yeah, it's pulling drag back. Pulling drag. Jeez, gotta be a pike. <laughs> when do I when do I set that hook? I'd go right now. I don't I don't have any drag. Tighten it up. Still on there? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gotta be a pike. Maybe not. Hope it's a big bass. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I got a trouble, but I don't think I have the best hook set in them. That's gotta be a pike, doesn't it? Maybe. Let's see if you can get them through the ice on yours. I'm watching for them. I haven't seen anything yet. That didn't take long at all. I just set this. Yeah, you literally just put a minnow on there, walked away, and went down, right? Yeah. I snagged on something. Oh, mine went down too. Go get yours. Go get it. I'm snagged on something. Here it comes. Matt's hooked up. I'm hooked up. He snagged me on something, but I got him free. Pike. Oh, slimy. Get down again. Oh, bass. Seems nice there. It's a nice one. Time to pack it up. You can see, maybe or not. It's starting to sprinkle. It's windy. It's relatively chilly. Again, one more time. It's all the tip downs. Subscribe button if you like this. Follow along. Check out Matt.